Peace sister, have now come out and are saying some alarming things about both S. Wavy and Sus during a press conference announcing that they've had no proof of life since their arrest and they are also both being denied lawyers. Check this out. Ladies, I have uh, requested to talk to you this evening in connection with a matter that I've been chasing from yesterday and uh, you people will possibly be aware of it. There were matters on social media yesterday about two young men who were arrested and uh, purportedly it was indicated that uh, extradition proceedings may be brought against them. So I was instructed together with my colleague here, Mr. Oyua, and from yesterday we have been trying to get audience from our client and my greatest concern is the police have completely refused to give us access from yesterday. The two young people were arrested about six o'clock from their homes very, very early in the morning, and they have been held, I believe, by ATPU. My brother here was able to, to talk to the OC in charge of ATPU, and he promised that he would see them at two o'clock. But when we went at two o'clock, they completely refuse to let us see the client. So we are very, very apprehensive. You know what has been happening. You know matters of uh, bodies being found floating, and uh, we really would not want this to happen. So I am particularly disturbed, and I would like this matter to be aired by you people, because it is wrong for the police to deny advocates access to their clients on a legitimate basis, and this is now the second day. Secondly, the relatives have also been denied access to them. And I would like you, if you, you can, to let this lady, who is a wife to one of them, and her, to give you at least a short synopsis so that you may know what is happening. As of this afternoon, we have been to ATPU. One officer told us that one of the suspects is inside, but they were waiting for the OCS. I personally talked to the OCS. And he told me that he's going to call me after five minutes. Fifteen minutes later, an officer was brought who came and told us that the two suspects had been removed. There was no way they would have been removed because I was standing at the gate. There is no way they would have been removed without me seeing them. And these people know their relatives. So I do not know why they are hiding them. I don't know whether they are safe. The only people who can help us now is the media. I don't want to say much. Please have a word with the wife and the relative. And thank you so much. My brother, Siad Abdul Hakim Mahmoud, was arrested in the early morning yesterday around 7 a.m. It's been over 35 hours. We have no proof of life. We don't know if he's alive. We have been refused to see him. So we are demanding to please. He has been refused lawyers. He has been refused for us to see him. They have denied having him, we just want to know if he's alive. We just need proof of life. At this at this moment, it's been over 35 hours. So we're just very, very concerned that it's been very emotional. Thank you. Yeah. I'm Halima. My husband, Tariq, was taken six in the morning yesterday. So it was really bad. They just took him. They never told me where he was being taken. It's been uh, since yesterday at six till now. They, we don't. We haven't seen them or anything. So we went with the lawyers. We tried up, up, down. They lied to us. They're in DCI again. We went. We came here. So it's been a rough moment for us. We really need to see. We really need to see them. We want to see them because we are really concerned. Each of them, there were one British. And eight, they said they're coming. They were from Interpol. In the morning, they banged our door when uh, my my help opened the door. They just entered with force, telling everyone to sit down. So they never showed ID. They never did anything. They picked them. Until now, this they can't be found anywhere. Yeah. Yes. Have any questions? Did they tell you? A uh, passport photo and my ID. They searched the house. So they really never told us. They said they're gonna call us. No one called us till now. We have been running up and down since yesterday. We have searched every police station. We yeah. have went to the DCI headquarters. Gigiri, Mutaiga. They, they are not there. 
So we really need help. We really need to see that we need proof of life that they're alive, that they're there. That's what we really want. Information we have, which is not a lot, they, they were expected to be brought in for extradition for whatever reasons. We do not know the full facts, but there was there was talk about extradition. We don't mind. If they want to bring extradition proceedings, we can deal with that. But what I can deal with personally is the police denying me the right for a lawyer to see a client. I think we're having a lot of impunity. I think we're having a lot of arrogance in the police force. Some of them are good. They are doing a very good job. But we have to bring these things to the general public so that they know and they have to understand their role in the public. They, they owe the public a duty. They owe these ladies a duty. But certainly, the right of a suspect to be seen by a lawyer is constitutional and it cannot be violated the way it is happening. So thank you very much. I know the information we have, which is not a lot, they, they were expected to be brought in for extradition for whatever reasons. We do not know the full facts, but there was, there was talk about extradition. We don't mind. If they want to bring extradition proceedings, we can deal with that. But what I can deal with personally is the police denying me the right for a lawyer to see a client. I think we're having a lot of impunity. I think we're having a lot of arrogance in the police force. Some of them are good. They are doing a very good job. But we have to bring these things to the general public so that they know and they have to understand their role in the public. They, they owe the public a duty. They owe these ladies a duty. But certainly, the right of a suspect to be seen by a lawyer is constitutional and it cannot be violated the way it is happening. So thank you very much. So yeah, they haven't been extradited to the UK yet and are still in Kenya, but it looks like they are not necessarily being treated well and are being denied their basic rights. So hopefully this can all get sorted out soon and they can at least have the chance to have a lawyer. Leave your thoughts down below, like and subscribe and I'll make sure to keep you guys updated as soon as